We're just a few days from a blood moon total lunar eclipse that is expected to dazzle sky gazers late Thursday into Friday. That's right. Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandagis breaks down what you can expect and the science behind the phenomenon. In the final minutes of Thursday, March the 13th, in the early hours of Friday, March the 14th, a remarkable celestial event will unfold, a total lunar eclipse, often referred to as a blood moon. A total lunar eclipse occurs when Earth aligns directly between the sun and the moon, casting Earth's shadow over the lunar surface. This alignment blocks direct sunlight, causing the moon to take on a reddish hue, a phenomenon resulting from Earth's atmosphere filtering out shorter wavelength blue light, leaving the longer wavelength red and orange tones to illuminate the moon. As the eclipse begins, the moon will enter Earth's outer shadow, or penumbra, at 11.57 p.m. on March the 13th. This initial stage causes only a slight dimming, often unnoticed by casual observers. At 1.09 a.m., the partial eclipse phase begins as the moon moves into the darker inner part of Earth's shadow, known as the umbra. Over the next hour, the moon will take on a reddish hue, deepening in color as it approaches totality. Totality, which is the most dramatic stage of the eclipse, will occur at 2.26 a.m. and last for about 65 minutes. During this time, the moon will glow in shades of red and orange, a result of sunlight refracting through Earth's atmosphere. Slowly, the shadow will begin to recede, returning the moon to its normal brightness by the time the eclipse ends at 6 a.m. For us here in Hampton Roads, the entire event will be visible, weather permitting, of course. While no special equipment is needed, binoculars or telescopes can enhance the view, revealing intricate details of the moon's surface, even under the shadow. To get the best experience, find a location with minimal light pollution and an unobstructed view of the sky. Happy viewing, and fingers crossed the weather cooperates.